Well, hello guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Uh, so you might have been noticing over the last couple of weeks that, you know, I, I'll maybe send five or seven videos out uh, in one go uh, and you don't hear me from me for a couple of days. I, I'm just making the most of uh, the time with my mum. Uh, before she goes into a, a care home and uh, you know so that's it that's what I'm doing um, just in case you think oh she gone oh she quit no I act I act quitting okay anyway guys uh, so I'm gonna do uh, uh, just a, a nice little uh, warm-up here and we're going to look at uh, Erica and Tom Gerardi. Well, in the days when I used to sit on my ass and uh, watch, you know, uh, TV uh, and all the uh, Real Housewives. I mean, there was Jersey, there was New York, you know. It's like I <laughs> kind of grew up with them. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to look. So, Erica's, uh, he, he's apparently, he's the, the solicitor uh it will start uh erin brockovich okay he was a solicitor it was based on a, a true story um and apparently as a, a a big lawyer or whatever he was um he's managed to spend i don't know whether it's 18 million i mean it could you know it should have been really make it worth it 18 million you steal why didn't you steal 180 uh you know but anyway so uh he's got He's claiming he's got dementia, so we're going to have a, a look because uh, with dementia, he could have uh, had symptoms that was unnoticeable uh, to anybody and the damage is starting and that can affect your uh, finances uh, uh, as well. So, you know, maybe he's stolen because, you know, was it dementia related? Uh, was it greed? You know, was it true? You know. Uh, so we're going to have a look and uh, obviously he's uh, under something called a conservatorship or something like Britney was uh, they have in the UA, uh, USA. So let's have a look then. Um, does, does Tom Girardi uh, have dementia? Well, obviously he's not as feeling uh, strong as he was, okay, but I'm getting cowardly acts here, cowardly uh, acts uh, as well, so, you know, uh, lacks, lacks the ability, so I am getting that he does uh, lack ability, but I don't feel like this is a, a run and hide scenario. Uh, as well okay so a run and hide but yeah i do feel like uh, there is uh, some cognitive uh, ability uh, or disability should i say uh, re regarding this you see you know if it was uh, you know you'd expect a saw card uh, you know uh, a sword card and i don't see that you know i do see that he lacks the uh, ability You know, uh, how does uh, Tom Girardi feel uh, about uh, being caught and about all the, uh, you know, the court stuff and getting arrested and getting, you know, having to be prosecuted? How does he feel? So, you know, his attitude was more irresponsible than intentional theft. So that could be in his brain thinking, you know, um, I'm not excusing anybody. I'm just, you know, explaining how things can uh, connect here. But, you know, so it was more irresponsible. Uh, I'll pay it back, you know. I'll, I'll take something out and I'll pay it back. My investments will pay off, you know. Uh, Erica will uh, become a star, whatever. I don't think Erica was on his thoughts at all, actually. But anyway, um, yeah, so I just get... It's a, an ego thing as well, you know. It was an ego thing. Like, not I'm right, but I can I can, okay, that's what I feel, I can, I can take what I like, you know, I can take it when it comes, you know, I can pay it back, um, 
And I feel like, you know, investments as well that I made are, are actually, they never came off, okay? They never came off. Uh, so oh, there was no, I see nothing growing, okay? So as irresponsible as it was, I mean, don't, you know, these are like gamblers, aren't they? Where uh, they have no money and, and they pin all the hopes on, you know, putting a, what, a bet down uh, and then, they're confused as to why they didn't win, you know, because uh, normally uh, they win. Yeah, well, that's not always uh, the case, is it? So I do feel like uh, Tom has been, of course he's guilty, but, you know, it's been more out of uh, just taking bits, you know. I mean, when you say bits, you know, a million at a time, a million at a time, uh, it hardly goes uh, anywhere. I mean, that's just two years of her glam squad, isn't it? Yeah. I think she paid about fifty to 40000 uh every month. I mean, if you have to pay that to look God, oh, my God, you know. You ain't got it, girl, have you? You ain't got it. £40,000 to look pretty. I don't think so, do you? <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, yeah, so it was more irresponsible uh, as, as well. But I don't... I, feel want just him i feel like uh other people was facilitating uh this the money has to pass through something you know so that there is uh other people uh, as well but some thought he knew it all and uh you know uh so that's why he was doing it will uh tom be prosecuted you know will he be prosecuted No, I, I don't think he will uh, be uh, prosecuted because where he is feels a bit safe to me, you know, where he is. So uh, I think he's in some kind of, uh, uh, you know, judge's orders and then he's in a place uh, uh, as well. So I kind of feel like... It's he's got a, a get out. This is a, a get out clause, okay? This is a a, a get out of a jail card, literally. You know, monopoly money, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I do feel like uh, it, it is a, a get out. I don't see that. You know, um, uh, the problem is as well. You're never going to get any hardly any of this money uh, back because well, can't really tell you where it went in the first place. Um, so you know, but there's nothing too too big. Uh, that you know they haven't taken from Tom already. I think that you know it would be a waste of time uh, prosecuting uh, a, a guy who does have some cognitive uh, issues. Is Tom aware uh, of everything? Is he aware that he's done wrong? Is he aware? Uh, that the you know courts want to prosecute him. Is he aware of this? Yeah, I think so. This is uh, Erica. Uh, I I think so. She you know uh, she talks to him every day. That's what I'm getting. Uh, you know she's still quite caring and loving towards him, and she always has been. I tell you now. Um, I know there's a massive uh, age gap, but that woman did love him for 18, 19 years and obviously put up with a lot, especially when he started having affairs. And yet, after all this, she's still got time for him, you know. And it's not just about the case. I can see that she, you know, she did love him. And she had it against her all the time. People, you know, judging her, thinking, oh, she was a money-grabbing son. So, well, she did, you know, she did like the money. But she loved him, okay, she does love him. She's got she's got a bloody good heart, but, you know, well, like the best of them, sometimes you can hide it, can't you, and you get carried away. So, but, yeah, so I do see that, you know, they are talking to each other on a daily basis. She, she will have informed him uh, as well. I don't know if he does have a daughter. I'm not sure about a daughter. I feel like uh, a, a boy. But no, I, I think Erica is uh, like, a, you know, mothering him now. Mothering him. 
She's gentle with him, you know, she's gentle. And before anybody says out, you know, do, is she trying to uh, get out of it and this, that and the other? Is she guilty as well? Well, whatever she is or she isn't, you know, um, she is very, very uh, caring towards Tom uh, at this. Not for any other reason, you know, it's just because of her feelings for him um, and the history they've shared. Uh, it's nothing she don't care about that he's had other women or affairs or or you know she's still there uh, as his wife now i know they've split up i'm not sure if they've divorced or not i don't think so she can't can she uh anyway okay so let's have a look at uh you know erica erica did you know what was going on Well, she she knew something. She just didn't want to, uh, you know, she didn't want to go there, okay? She didn't want to go there uh, with uh, Tom. So she would have been uh, aware, but she just thought it was, a, you know, maybe a lesser uh, money. The fact that he also went overseas, um, you know, and he used to delay telling her things. So I kind of feel like she had an inkling. She wouldn't have known the full extent at all, uh, and she wouldn't. So, and I think if she didn't know about his, uh, you know, affairs, uh, she wasn't going to know much about his money because Tom, Tom was quite arrogant, very arrogant. I saw uh, when I watched him on uh, their program, he, he was bloody arrogant, and I can imagine that you know Erica would have felt that where finances are concerned, maybe she couldn't uh, bring it up, you know. Or if she tried, you know, he, he's so like made out, it's uh, n n don't worry, don't worry. How does she feel uh, about, you know, Tom uh, in all this? Well, I kind of feel uh, you, you're getting something in writing, something in writing. I think she's, you know, waiting to hear uh, whether she's going to be called, okay, whether she's been to be, going to be called, because right now Tom has, but she hasn't, as I understand it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just uh, wondering, she's just waiting, isn't she, so about Tom? She's in the dark, yeah, she's in the dark, you know, she's in the dark about things and she's also in the dark about what's happening currently uh, uh, as well. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think she wants uh, Tom to say that she didn't know anything. Well, he can't really say much because, you know, he, he's lacking uh, ability. How does Tom feel about Eric, Erica? He knows it's uh, the, the end, okay? He knows uh, the end. It, it's like it, he's had enough. He doesn't want to, you know, bring her into it. I think to say that, you know, he would uh, make a statement, okay? Um... He wants it to end, you know. He just wants all this to end for her. Um, so maybe he can make that happen somehow. Okay, I'm getting that. He'll try and make that uh, happen. And by all accounts, you know, yeah, she might have had a way. She might have, you know, seen the money and this, that and the other. But she didn't know where it came from. She didn't know. Uh, you know, she thought her husband was highly successful. Uh, and this was the fruits of his labour. Um, not completely, you know, I mean, she, she's not completely, uh, not knowing, but she didn't know most of it. Will Erica be prosecuted? I 
I feel, you know, she, she, uh, wouldn't that be terrible if she goes down and he doesn't? Um, you know, there's a lot of trickery here, and I think other people will try to pin things on Erica, um, uh, and things all come out, you know. So there's not just uh, Erica, there's a couple of other people, it seems. Um, and they're making out that they're okay or that things was done properly or done this way. However, it turns out that there wasn't. So Erica could, could find that she comes a cropper uh, with uh, witnesses, okay, uh, and, and how things are actually uh, run uh, as well. So she, her enemy is other people around her, uh, not uh, Tom. How will this end for, uh, you know... How will this end for Erica? Yeah, she's been let down. She'll come out of there thinking, you know, uh, f the only person she could think uh, is someone is sincere, uh, who is not, would be close family uh, members and indeed Tom. You know, she thought that she could maybe rely on him, uh, rely on him. We're looking at deals uh, as well, a deal to, to be done. Uh, Thomas, Tom could find around him that he has an opportunity for a deal and I don't think the deal includes Erica. She's going to feel badly uh, let down. What about Tom, Tom Girardi? What's the outcome for him? I've got a feeling they're going to say, you know, he dies before everything gets sorted. I think hiding uh, away, you know, maybe in a state-run facility or, you know, um, where he has to stay there and then if he ever improves, he can, you know, uh, be tried uh, for it. But I don't get hiding, 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 hiding. He's going behind closed doors. Um, I just feel like Tom would turn something down, you know, that could be an offer uh, uh, as well. Uh, being unrealistic, you know, and, and not getting his light shone. Um, that could occur uh, in that, you know, if you plead guilty or insanity, whatever, uh, you can have eight years. Uh, and if you don't, you're going to get 15. So, you know, Tom being as arrogant as I think he would be, uh, would say no 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 we'll take it to court and risk the chance of uh, you know uh, not winning or, or losing he would lose okay he, he would lose yeah I think Tom's going to have to keep a, a, a very uh, low uh, quiet profile and the victims because never really thought about the victims what what will be for the victims, please? No one comes out of uh, this good. No one. Kind of feel like, you know, you want the money to, the victims want their, their money to be found, okay, and, and traced. Whereas when you do have a legal situation, I know it's going ahead, but the money will be wrapped up and lost, you know, uh, in, in fees, in where did it go, you know, who's had it last, you know. Um, there'll be pockets of uh, money going all over, and for that, they cannot take a, 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 a risk uh, with it. Uh, as well so i'm not going to uh positive you know I, i'm not i think the news that they want to hear <coughs> is not now they'll, it'll, they'll be told not now so whether you know maybe it's that the cat prosecute uh tom uh right now maybe it truly you know there is some cognitive uh damage there Can you know? Can Tom uh, operate? Uh, uh, 
w will Tom ever get his full cognitive, uh, you know? Well, you know, will, will uh, yeah, so hang on then. So will Tom uh, ever be in a si situation uh, to be able to fully conform uh, with a successful prosecution? No. No, and unfortunately, like what happens with uh, dementia people, when they get frustrated, uh, they can be, you know, very uh, hard work. That's what I would say, you know, uh, angry. I'm getting a lot of anger here. Uh, and he's refusing to uh, listen. So, you know, he's hiding. He's trying to hide a, a lot of his uh, Alzheimer's. He probably won't even understand too much, okay? He does understand. But I think this is like a... You know, was dementia actually to blame? You know, what was the root cause, please, for uh, Tom stealing all this money? Why? In a way, Tom might have thought he, you know, never fits in, never fitted in. Uh, you know, it's a... Uh, I just feel like uh, it, it, I think I think because he's felt uh, not included in his life or in his childhood or in his adulthood something has gone uh, wrong um, and I just see like you know that that's it really in an exaggeration he, he's probably thought oh it's only this it's not that much I mean when he started taking the money he's fully aware um, and when he became aware it was coming on top, uh, he's been diagnosed with uh, Alzheimer's. So did he know beforehand? Yeah, I think he did, you know. He's got a lot of anxiety about it. Uh, uh, there's been a lot of lies told. He's told lies, you know. Um, uh, and now we don't, he's sort of like hitting out like a little kid because it doesn't, it doesn't know what's going on. It, it doesn't... Uh, you know, he's hiding, he's been hiding it. So, has he got uh, Alzheimer's? Yeah, I'm going to say so. Uh, I think there's definitely a lack of uh, cognitive uh, functioning here. Uh, will they try him? No, it's a, a waste of taxpayers' money, which, you know, the victims won't be happy about at all. Uh, you know, Erica, I have to say, you know, uh, on the uh, love, love score, I mean, she does love him, you know, and she's now mothering him, looking after him, caring for him, uh, whether it just be a few phone calls a day or going to, to see him, you know. Um, and for Erica, well, who knows, who knows, you know, I think uh, a, a lot of people let her down, so she's, you know, it looks like Tom's better off than uh, Erica is, okay. Okay, then that's it from me. Uh, I'll be back with another reading um, anytime soon. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye now. Bye-bye.